If I told you that plants can talk, would you believe me? Long back when Britain's King Charles was asked about this, about what he did in his garden, he said he would talk to plants and they would respond. You see, the king was convinced that they talked to him. Can someone now call him wrong or delusional? Because scientists have confirmed what King Charles has known from his youth, that plants do in fact talk to each other. They have now been caught in the act. Now let me make this clear. Plants don't talk the way you expect. They have their own language, so to speak. You see, plants are surrounded by a fine mist of compounds. They use these airborne compounds to communicate. You can think of them as scents or smells. These compounds warn plants of the dangers nearby like an alarm. Now, how do plants receive and respond to these alarms? That's exactly what Japanese scientists have recorded. Take a look. Now, let me explain what's exactly happening here. The scientists took two plants for the experiment. One tomato, another a common weed. Both the plant systems were connected using rigged air pumps. The leaves of the tomato plants were cut. They were also infested by caterpillars. Now the scientists waited to see how the plants would react. One injured and another normal. How would they interact? As expected, the caterpillar riddled tomato plant released airborne compounds. It wanted to alert its unaffected neighboring weed to brace up for the threat. But how did the weed respond? That is what you are seeing in this video on your screen. Do you see a fluorescent wave passing through the leaves? These are in fact calcium signals rushing within the plant, essentially signaling that a communication or rather a talk has taken place. Under normal conditions, you won't be able to see this phenomenon, but the weed that scientists use was genetically modified to emit fluorescent green light on detecting calcium ions. Now, was that too much science for you? Let's keep it simple. Scientists have known that plants can talk since the 1980s. They have detected it in more than 80 plant species, but it was for the first time that they captured it on camera. Up until now, they knew how plants sent messages. Like in this case, they knew how the injured tomato plant would alert the unaffected weed plant. What they didn't know was how this message would be received. But the experiment made it clear. The undamaged plant received the signal loud and clear and responded with a burst of calcium signaling across its outstretched leaves. You see, there's no idle chatter among plants. They know how to communicate efficiently and evade their predators. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.